Hey, it's Pat! Or is it? Hey everyone, it's Pierce. Hope you guys read the Summer Friday post on how to jailbreak your iPhone on a blogaboutthings.com. If not, just click the link in the description. Okay, first we're going to talk about Cydia. Cydia is the jailbreaker's app store. It's where you'll find apps that will work on your jailbroken phone. It's very similar to Apple's official app store, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding your way around it. So here's a quick tour. First, there's the Cydia tab, which is Cydia's homepage. It will provide you with useful information and some user guides. Sections is just all the apps or packages, as Cydia likes to call them, separated into categories. You'll find updates to your downloaded apps and updates to Cydia under Changes. You'll get a cute notification badge when updates are available. Under Manage, then Packages, are all the apps and themes you've downloaded from Cydia. From here, you can delete or reinstall apps. To do any of this, just select an app, click Modify. From here, you can, you'll have the option to reinstall if you think something's wonky with your app, or remove it entirely from your phone. And finally, there is Search, and Search is, well, Search. And that's pretty much all there is to Cydia. Now, you may like the look of a non-jailbroken iPhone, but everyone else pretty much has the exact same thing. You may even have the same background that I have on right now. It's cute, but you may want it to feel a little bit more personal. So the first app you're probably going to want to download is Winterboard. Winterboard is a powerful tool that can customize the look and feel of your phone, whether it be changing just the font, changing the keyboard's color, having new icons, or redoing every piece of the springboard, Winterboard can do it. FYI, the springboard is just anything related to the graphical user interface, i.e. the icons, the dock, the keyboard, the background, the lock screen, etc. So your phone can look like this, like this, ugh, like this, ugh, or God forbid, like this. CD has tons of themes for different parts of the springboard. If you already know the theme you want by perusing the web, you can just search for it. If you want to casually browse Cydia's offerings, go to Sections, scroll down to Themes, and here you'll find themes for the springboard or just parts of it. Winterboard comes with some preloaded themes, so just test them out and see what works for you. Just don't go crazy. You don't want your phone looking like a MySpace page circa 2005. Is that still a thing? Winterboard is available in Cydia for free. Next up is Make It Mine, aka M-I-M, -M, which is a tiny free app that does two small things, but it's really fun. It lets you personalize the carrier and time text in this top information bar. To do this, just open up M-I-M. -M. So let's start with the carrier. Currently, mine says AT&T. If you're like me, you don't want to be reminded that you're with AT&T, so let's change it to STFU. I'll enter STFU in the text box, hit carrier, and voila. The same procedure works with the time text. So let's change the time text to a blog about things.com. Click the banner button, and there you have it. To change things back to the way they were, just leave the text field blank and hit the appropriate button. Or just read the instructions below the text box. In Cydia, just search for Make It Mine, one word, and the cost is free. As a side note, if you're susceptible to roaming charges and tend to roam a lot, you may want to skip changing the carrier text. This next app is for all you chronic tweeters out there. QTweeter is an app that works more like a widget. If you've ever used an Android phone to update your Twitter or Facebook status, you'll see where I'm going with this. This little app is almost always available to you to fire off quick tweets instead of having to open your default Twitter application, like Twitter, TweetDeck, Twitterific, etc. Now currently, I have three ways to announce the Twitterverse. I'm standing in a huge line waiting to get my venti soy latte at Starbucks. Meh. Two of the options require me to exit the app I'm currently in, and in the world of Twitter, every second counts. But with QTweeter, 
I can slide my finger from the top of the screen to pull down a compose box, type my tweet, and send it off. That's really it. Using the icons at the top, Tweeter can pull songs that you're listening to and post it with a now playing hashtag. It can also post pics or movies, it can post your location, beware of stalkers, and tag people in your Twitter account. It can also update your Facebook status at the same time. Now I want to let you know about some quirks and limitations. QTweeter can be a bit stuttery when pulling it down in an app. Just pull down slowly once, and it should appear a split second later. Also, I find you really can't use it in apps that only run in landscape mode, like some games, Angry Birds, Fair City. And you can't use QTweeter to check your friend's tweets. It's strictly for sending tweets to Twitter. Other than these minor quirks, which can be fixed in future updates, QTweeter is a great app worthy of your $3.99. And if you want to try before you buy, it does offer a free trial.